At Jacob Nielsen's Las Vegas keynote speech, an attendee asked about how you can shift an engineering-driven company to become more user-centered. It is true that at the very first kind of thought, you may say it's more important to develop a feature than have a good quality feature, but it's actually, I don't think it's true, because that's what I was talking of calling the utility gap versus usability gap. And the utility gap is you don't have a feature, and that's certainly wrong, but the usability gap is you have the feature, but people can't use it, and that's just as wrong. And so that's the argument you have to make, is that it's wasted to have all these brilliant engineers develop and implement all these fancy features if they're not being used. And you will most likely, if you do any kind of analytics or statistics, see that people usually tend to stay in a small corner of the product and use a relatively small uh, uh, amount of the total feature set. And that is, you know, the cost or penalty of bad usability that you've spent. You know, you've spent like more than half of your engineering budget on developing things that are not being, or hardly being used. Maybe a few super users can use them, but most people cannot. And yet, if you spend like, a, our user recommendation is like 10% of the total budget. If you spend 10% of the budget on finding out how to make it such that people can use it, you will make the other 90% of your budget spent better because people will use it, let's say, twice as much. And so you can basically double the usefulness or the impact of your product. So 100% gain by 10% of investment. So it's a huge return on investment. Uh, so those are the type of arguments I would, I would try to make. And then, of course, we have a lot of other arguments as well. It's a lot of like, why shouldn't engineers be the ones to, de to design the user interface? And this is where you can appeal to their advantage and say, you are just too smart. <laughs> you know too much about computers. And ultimately, you are not representative of our end customers, which is true in every case except if you are developing a developer product, you know. And even then, the people who are working on that, you know, software engineering tool, they still know more, more about their tool than the average programmer will know. So even then, uh, the people on the development team themselves are not going to be the best at judging what's easy, what's hard, what's going to be convenient for the know, the great masses of users to use. So, I mean, there's a lot of arguments, but I would actually still, I would just go back to that kind of ROI, return on investment argument that says, spend 10% of your budget on making sure that you double the use of the other 90% of your budget.